this year has been loot boxes, loot boxes, loot boxes, loot boxes and even more loot boxes. So we all thought the evolution of gaming would be good as Charmander's evolution or it would be not rememberable at all as Mad Actors. But it was a Benalite one. Personally I like Benalite though, don't get me wrong. But fans hate it, so I'm just going to use it as an example. So people... Anyways, we are going to be talking about microtransactions that shouldn't be happening in games. But sometimes they happen. But if they have done right, then no problem. But these games didn't do them right. So it just showcases how the gamers are active and how vocal they are in the community. So we're going to take a look at three games in this year. That's kind of like a major issue, I would say and caused a major issue and still causing a major issues and these these kind of microtransactions should just leave first thing is my star wars battlefront 2 now i made plenty of video on this topic so please go and check them out if you haven't already please do the so please do so so i'm not going to talk about it again that's the major point of it microtransactions should not be built in because if you are going to build loot boxes in the game then no problem but if you're gonna build a game around loot boxes, that's a problem. That's Star Wars Battlefront 2 in a nutshell. So please don't do that. But today, the topic of the video is gonna be all about Rift. So Rift is a MMORPG free to play game on Steam. So obviously free to play games will have microtransactions in them. It's just, it's, it's the mobile game style of things. I don't know how this trend caught up, I still don't understand the ice bucket challenges, the mannequin challenges and stuff like that. But this one is kind of like the worst one of them all because they can be done with friends for fun, for charity, for, for just being goofy. This, I mean, why? I don't know. But this challenge caught on, this trend caught on, and then they created kind of like microtransactions in all gaming. So I'm not a free to play. Uh, $60 games, $30 games, $20 games, $10 games. But this one is the worst of them all because if you think about it, they are there for in terms of loot box, in terms of like cosmetics, just, just small things. You know, it's not affecting your gameplay by anything. But in this game, they kind of released a $100 loot box. Yeah, let that sink in. So this is kind of like a rights are there in the game. So if you have played like Dragon Age Inquisition, you know, you have a mount and there's kind of like a different sort of mounts are there. And uh, in, even in that game, even it's my favorite game of all time, that game had kind of like DLC practice, worst DLC practice done by Bioware where you can get a different sort of mounts for $5 or something. I'm like, buddy, why? It's there. So this one is kind of like a 42 mount thing. So if you, yeah, I, I think I'll put up the list right now on my face. So you get these things in a loot box. So you don't know what you're getting. Duplicates are there. So you can open them for hundred dollars. So overall, you you calculate it. Okay, forty two months are there. Hundred dollar per loot box. Duplicates are there. So if you're a completionist or you want that achievement. Now, when they were asked about it, they said this is cosmetics. That's not going to affect the gameplay. But it does when it comes to like addiction. So you kind of like go beyond some things like your holdings. Like you're like, okay, you don't want to do this. Even though we can't get the achievement. Even though we can't be fully finishing the game. We don't want to do this. We don't want to do this. But something pushes you to the point where you got to do this. You will do this. And I don't like that point of view, but people still do that. So this is kind of like a thing where I'm going to leave you at. So you guys, let me know in the comments down below. This will be the question of the hour for you. What do you think about this practice? Obviously, they removed it after the backlash. But I think this shouldn't be happening in the first place. There's, there should not be any kind of like community backlash at all. It's, it's, it's stupidity at its peak, but I don't know what to say about this. I really don't know. So all I can say is people hope people changes because if people don't change, then the system will change. And if the system doesn't change, the industry will change. And if the industry doesn't change, nothing will change.
And the next topic that we are going to be talking about is football. Now, FIFA is something that is yearly released, annoying thing that ever lived. But it's enjoyable when you are good at the game, playing against a mate who's bad at the game and scoring 4-0, final 6-0. Yes, everyone enjoys FIFA, right? So it's kind of like a even 3 plus game. Uh, that means age 3 or more can play this game. So it's not like restricted age restrictions are not there. So putting microtransactions in them is a little bit annoying. Now the story that I'm going to be talking about is really, really, really sad. And right now you can see like it took the Christmas of a family. That's sad. So we are going to talk about two things. One, it's a 14 year old boy. I don't know why the 14 year old boy, the 14 year is kind of like a thing in gaming apparently. Fortnite sued a 14 year old boy. This guy's 14 year old boy screws up. I'm like, Two, it's like internet acting up to the boys like oh, this is spoiled brat he's just like doing things so, like don't do that don't don't attack the young boy put attack EA fuck EA they are the ones that is at fault here people are not seeing that people are like oh that boy should have known better that parent should have known better EA should have known better are you shitting me anyways let's just talk to the story and then we'll talk to the community about certain things okay first of all I'm going to talk about the game itself. FIFA is a game where you can play with your friends and enjoy. But at the same time, that's the ultimate team where you get FIFA points and you open loot boxes, you get certain players. Now, we don't know about, I don't know about the FIFA points, how to get them, how to get them naturally and stuff like that. But it's finding them is a little bit harder. And the kid has gotten the game on PlayStation. And the, the parent stupidity is they left the kid with the card details and they left saved it on playstation so every time the kid is buying fifa points for the in-game thing so that he can actually unlock players he's been using the real money now the problem is that card was her actually think credentials for her job so when the job uh, gives her the salary it goes into that card and the kid uses that card and drains all the money boom now, Christmas time, they don't have any money. So they've asked Sony about it. Sony said, I don't know anything about it. This is kind of like a certain thing. And uh, they're having a miscommunication. So she's saying one thing, Sony is saying one thing. And at the end of the day, it's not about Sony because they are just going to give the money to EA, right? And uh, EA is the one who decides, okay, I'm going to shut off your son's account and you're going to refund all your money. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we know EA. So... It's not going to happen. I mean, I'm really sad after hearing this story because I was just reading through the internet. Okay, let's see. Uh, we are going to make a to the year end. So I'm going to talk about two things. Microtransactions done wrong. Microtransactions done right. So let's just take a look at different things that are there. And I came across the story. I just wanted to share it with you guys. It's, it's, it's absolutely saddening to hear something when I don't, I get sad after hearing this. Okay, cool. But... I get even more sad at seeing EA is not being the one who's been criticized for all these things. It's easily been criticized for the parent. It's easily to criticize the kid, but the kid is sad. The kid is locked inside his room. He just, he, he just, he did something wrong. He fucked up. We all do. But at the end of the day, who makes us fuck up? That's the problem. If it's just us who's fucking up, then it's okay. It's on us. But if someone else is making making us fuck up, then it's their fault. You should always take a look at that. And EA is at fault here. It's just my opinion. What's your opinion? Let me know in the comments down below. That will be question of the day. Question of the hour for you, number two. Two, two questions in this video. Because I am that sad. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you on the next one. Hit that sub like button. Share the video with your friends and family. Stop posting around it. That subscribe button. Also the notification icon. And join the Cavalier Collective. Let me know in the comments down below. The question of the two question of the day for you. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.